Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Guys, I have a subscriber request. And normally I don't have subscriber. I normally I, I don't do su subscriber requests during the trial phase of Madden when it first comes out because I have 10 hours to do an EA access and I don't want to burn those hours up um, doing a video requests. I would rather wait till the game comes out and then I can do all the requests you want me to do. But you know, uh, shout out to Gil Johnson, guys. He really was adamant. He wanted to see his Denver Broncos gameplay. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it for you, Gil. Again, Gil Johnson, guys. Shout out to Gil Johnson, one of the stars on Hollywood Sports. One of my subscribers, man. I love you, John. Uh, Gil Johnson. This is for you, man. I'm not going to tell you who, who you're going up against right now. I want you to be surprised who you who your team is going up against. I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Everybody watching this video, hit the subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. And by the way, this is going to be in broadcast cam. Gil Johnson wanted to see his team playing in broadcast cam. Again, enjoy the game, guys. Enjoy the game. Hit that subscribe button and hit that like button. And I will see you on my other videos. Let me get my pretty face out of the way and enjoy the game. Coach, welcome to the special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Oakland Raiders and the Denver Broncos. With that, we're off to the Rocky Mountain. Standing by in Denver, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, we find ourselves at the foot of the Rockies, Denver, Colorado, for this edition of the NFL on EA Sports. A moment ago, through a shower of pyrotechnics, it was the hometown Broncos taking the field as they get set to do battle with the Oakland Raiders. Welcome to the NFL on EA Sports. With me as always, Charles Davis. And Charles, we look at a matchup like this. It's really the running backs that may take center stage here today. And in today's football, they're still valuable, not just as runners, but guys who can catch the ball as well. It's really the number of touches that determines things these days. The left foot of Giorgio Tavecchio in his second year as a Raider, set to get us started. And we are underway here on EA Sports. <laughs> And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. It'll be Case Keenum leading the charge, making his first start in a Bronco uniform here in this one. And at the 2018 draft, when the Broncos' number came up at five, Plenty of chatter that they might take a quarterback right there. Remember, Josh Allen was still on the board. Josh Rosen was still on the board. But the Broncos made a commitment to Case Keenum in free agency, and they're living up to it. Did not take a quarterback in that slot. Going to ride with their new number four, Case Keenum. First carry for Royce Freeman. And he's going to be stopped here on this first play as he gets it to the line of scrimmage and no more. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. The offensive lineup now, and the guy we highlight, Emmanuel Sanders. You can use him in any spot as a wide receiver. In the slot, out wide, it doesn't matter. He just makes plays. First carry for Devontae Booker. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. It'll be a gain of seven, and they get it back to a third and three. That was a good run, probably right on the edge of breaking into something really big. So the defensive guys right now are talking about, okay, what can we do to slow him down before he truly gets started? Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. Gun, Keenum. And able to find Deshaun Hamilton complete. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. 
one of the selling points of the in route is it gives the quarterback a really nice sight line to his receiver and almost on a direct shot, able to throw the ball into the middle of the field and have a great chance of success as they did on that play. They go play action here on first down. And the catch made, this is Emmanuel Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Bronco first down. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 47. This is Freeman on first and 10. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. But forget about finding a lane there. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. Probably fortunate he was able to hold on to the football. D'Angelo Henderson, and able to push his way forward here for a good little game. Marcus Gilchrist there to bring him down. So not much to speak of scoring-wise in this first quarter of play. Nothing, nothing, our score. Charles and I back to Denver after this. The NFL on EA Sports is fueled by Gatorade, the sports fuel company. Back alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Bronco football to begin quarter number two. They're on the march, but facing a third down here. Snap for Keenum, and that is incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion, and to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So on fourth down, here's Marquette King to punt it away. He'll send this one into the mile high air, and it's a good one. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. The man calling the shots in the huddle will be Derek Carr in his fifth year now out of Fresno State. He did make his third straight Pro Bowl, but the numbers didn't really reflect what is known as Pro Bowl caliber. 22 touchdowns, 13 interceptions on a 6-10 and 10 team. But the biggest question in Oakland in this offseason, how will he and new head coach John Gruden mesh? That's the key to victory for the Oakland Raiders. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at the 20. They start the drive with Lynch, and he'll find some space up to about the 25. Five yards on the carry, good pickup on first down. But I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. they got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. Get down, get down. Get down. Get down. Car to 
throw on second down. He completes it to Jordy Nelson. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. First down, Raiders, the former Packer Jordy Nelson on the receiving end from Carr. remain in a scoreless first half. Back to Denver right after this. A reminder coming up at halftime, we'll check in with our Jonathan Coachman. He'll have highlights and analysis of the first half, and our highlights will likely be on the defensive side of the football here. Scoreless game. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football. Because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. Car now on first down. And Nelson's got him here right side. And he'll get this one down to about the 20 yard line. Back to back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in, with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this and, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? I know I offered my help with a few plays, and they didn't I, seem to I want it. I didn't offer mine. You, know, you, were, you were the <laughs> smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. Into the red zone. It's Carr. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Pass play wound up for negative yardage, so here's second and 11. They'll run it now out of the gun. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. And now maybe they want some extra time to talk about this third and long play as we'll get a timeout. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the offensive unit called the T.O. And now we are ready to resume play. Oh, 
And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Throwing his car on third down. Roberts with it over the middle. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Giorgio Tavecchio now for the Raider field goal. The kick by Tavecchio is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So still no touchdowns in the first half, but we do have some action on the scoreboard with the field goal. So maybe now the mentality changes in this game because Anytime you can get to the red zone, and if you don't come away with six points, you feel like it's a disappointment. In a game like this one, being able to kick field goals means you're right there, and then you're just looking for that big break to take you over the top. After the field goal, here's Tavecchio to kick it away. This one fielded at the five. Oh, what a move. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Bronco offense now set to come back out onto the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk, this is a big decision here. Now a first down throw. Keenan looking middle, and it's incomplete. The linebacker, Derek Johnson, there in coverage. But one thing that I've liked defensively is that they've shown them a lot of different looks here in the first half. They've come after them. They've sat back. I think that's what you need to do to keep an offense guessing. And they certainly have kept them on their toes. That's why they haven't had much success on the scoreboard. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Back to the air on second down. It's Keenum. Here's Booker on the catch. And a stoppage here. A timeout before this third down play takes place. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. And we are back here. I'm Brandon Gaunt alongside Charles Davis. So the offense takes a timeout. And now we're set to get going. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. From the gun on third down, Keenum. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. Here's Marquette King now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Yeah. 
Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. Start on the ground with Lynch. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and it'll be second and 11. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This one's been all about the defense. Just a lone field goal in that first half. And as a result, not too much available in terms of highlights, but that's okay. We've got a full half to go. And to bring it your way, let's get back out to Brandon and Charles. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. These offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Get down, get down. On first down, Carr got his man complete over the middle. It's Roberts, and he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. That throw good for four. It's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route, the drag, and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. On second down, here's Carr. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain on that one, and it's going to bring up a third down. Brandon, just mark that under the category of just not successful. Trying to throw the ball just didn't work on that one. Completed it. No yardage. catch on second down but it didn't help at all and now they're looking at third down here get down, get down. 
to throw on third down. Carr. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Looking for Cooper, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. Cooper was the target there. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. So now a look at the Broncos as they head back out there for their first possession of the second half. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Good starting position for the Broncos here as they come up first and 10. The drive starts with Devontae Booker. And he'll get this up past the 45 of the 47. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. But no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. to the ground this time with Freeman and this one goes nowhere losing yardage on the play back at the 46 this will be a two yard loss on the play and it'll be third down Shotgun snap for Keenan. And down he goes. Brought down a Raiders sack. Khalil Mack able to drop him for a loss of 12. And it'll be fourth down. And on that one, the protection just broke down. You've got to have that leverage, don't you? We always talk about low man wins in the running game for an offensive lineman versus a defensive lineman. It's essentially the same thing in pass protection. Get lower than that defensive lineman so that you can keep your balance and keep him away from your guy trying to throw the football. Here's Marquette King now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. Before they can get the punt away, whistles as we've come to the end of the third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back now to Denver. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. First down, the run with Lynch. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. You know, I was going to ask you if maybe they should surprise and pass the ball, but where they're at on the field, I think keep it on the ground, right? I like where you're going with this one because field position is going to determine these play calls. And backed up where they are, I don't even think about putting the ball in the air. I tell my running backs, grasp the football, and I tell my offensive line, don't allow any leaks so they get hit immediately when we hand it off. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, 
This feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Card out of throw. And he comes back with one complete. No gain at all on the play there. That brings up four. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion, and you count on your D to make it stand up. Here now, Johnny Townsend as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. Time for a break. And that one hits at the seven, but bounds into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. We're back to see what happens after this. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. not his best throw and it'll wind up being intercepted now the Broncos heading back out onto the field they do have all three timeouts remaining but a first down likely ends this thing and it looks like they are to coin a phrase on the defensive here right but in fact the team on offense has to be really careful because they're going to attack like crazy they've got to cover the football make sure they don't turn it over, and still find a way to finish off this game despite the extra pressure that's going to come their way. Do you pack it in for a run here on first down? I think that you do. That's how you have to play it. But at the same time, you're telling your ball carrier, both the arms over the football, <laughs> buy everything else because they will do everything possible to try and knock it free. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and set as we resume play. Second down, Lynch. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. And now the Broncos will burn another timeout here as he'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. The Raiders on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This will be third and six. On third down, they go Lynch. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 
And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. All right, so the timeout over and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. against encroachment defense so they got him coming up from his linebacker spot and sometimes the position doesn't really doesn't matter if you creep up to the line of scrimmage you just have to look for the football make sure it moves before you do So a first and five now after the five-yard penalty from the neutral zone infraction. Following the penalty, Lynch. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here slow to get up. We'll step aside and get a report when we come back to Denver. Second down, Martin, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, and I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I don't want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw it, quick throw out to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers run a quick slant or something like that. Just a one-yard pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Big one coming now for Giorgio Tavecchio. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. That block had all the earmarks of a special teams coach who's been working on this for a long time, but kept it in his pocket until he absolutely needed it. That looked like one of those ones that just said, Crucial, have to have it, and call it. So something maybe you don't use in the second quarter of a 20-point game, but here fourth quarter trying to seal it, you do. No doubt. And those guys spend so much time on tape trying to find where the weak spots are, if they think there's one player that they can utilize to get through and get the block. In this case, he dialed it up. So now a chance for points in the opposite direction after the block field goal. Back to throw. Oh, a scrap for the football, and he's going to come down with it. Give him 30 yards there.
Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. Enjoy the rest of your afternoon, everyone, as we say so long from Denver. Can I count it off? Go ahead. One, two, three, four.